there was another gray-colored species who were involved with those crash events. They are referred to as extraterrestrial biological entities, or EBANs. These incidents, while initially made public, underwent extreme measures from government and military officials to then cover them up. Between captured ET technologies and direct contacts with extraterrestrial biological entities, government documents exist that reveal the involvement of EBANs within secret undisclosed programs. What is our relationship with the EBANs? And what do we know about their involvement with humankind? In 1947, there was a crash in New Mexico near Roswell. It involved two ET crafts, one crash near Corona, New Mexico. A debris field was south of that, closer to Roswell. The second craft crashed in Horse Mesa, way out west of Magdalena, New Mexico, in the mountains, very remote area. It wasn't found until 1949. The 1947 crash was found by a rancher and an archaeological team. The archaeological team found the actual craft with one live ET, which we later called EBA-1, and the other, the dead ETs. The debris field south of there was found by another man, and that debris field was considered the antenna section of the Eben craft. The craft was transported eventually onto Wright-Patterson Air Force Base and onto Area 51. The ET was transported to Kirtland Field in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and then later to Los Alamos because Los Alamos was the only place that had a very secure facility that they could house something like an even, an extraterrestrial. I know about this because I was actually briefed in an official briefing in 1979 at Kirtland Air Force Base. I read it, I saw the film, I was briefed by an Air Force colonel. We were briefed in a special access program. So I know what I'm saying is factual. And I follow that up by saying that I had other contacts who have been involved in that incident and can verify the same biological entities were in both. So we know that there was the same ET grace. Is it possible that the Ebens had been visiting Earth prior to that? Sure, absolutely. I'm only telling you what I know and what I had access to. One of the most respected science journalists, Linda Moulton Howe, has been reporting about UFOs and contact for many decades. She's been privy to many government insiders and documents. On that day, on April 9th, 1983, I did not have the experience that I would have 20 some years later. And those words, extraterrestrial biological entity, would end up in one of the most important leaked documents of all time called the Psalm 101 Training Manual. That training manual breaks down extraterrestrial biological entities into two types. It is clearly a government document. It was printed in 1954 on a government printing press at Kirtland Air Force Base. That was tracked down by Bob Wood, who was an aerospace engineer, confirming the Psalm 101 is a legitimate document. About a year after I had left McDonnell Douglas, Stan Friedman called me up and he said, you know, Bob, he said, I got a fax of a document that seems pretty interesting. He said, it's a special operations manual, and are you interested in authenticating it? And I said, yeah, I am. So I went to Washington, where Don Berliner had the special operations manual and made high quality photographs of it and then replicated it. And it turned out that I was wound up being pretty convinced that it was authentic because I talked to a guy who was in the public printing office and he looked at it and he said, well, based on the content, I'd say it's a hoax because the title, you know, was Extraterrestrial Entities and Technology Recovery and Disposal. Basically, it was a summary of how we'd had a pro secret program, Majestic 12, to recover the craft, what to do with how to keep the public in the dark and where to send the bodies and stuff like that. So I was in harmony with the content of the document, figured this is exactly what you would want to do if you wanted to keep the public in the dark. We've never had the government of the United States say in any kind of a legal procedure 
uh, you are violating national security, this is not real. So the Psalm 101 sits out there as a leak that every person who has investigated says it's real. When you go to the types, it's extraterrestrial biological entity. And it's describing two types with two different shaped heads and heights and weights. But they're both referred to as extraterrestrial biological entities. And that means that the United States government from the Roswell years in 1940s, World War II, they were using that phrase, extraterrestrial biological entities, perhaps for a lot. And eventually over time, there has been a reduction down that the Eben is a very specific type. And it is the one with the pear-shaped head. They can be gray and people will call things that are gray, grays. But as far as I know, the extraterrestrial biological entity in the Psalm 101 training manual for military forces about we're dealing with extraterrestrial biological entities. 